Now let's go and take a look at the operation and maintenance of the Recovery 18. Now the first thing we want to do is inspect the cord. When we're inspecting the cord, we want to make sure the ground prong is in place, make sure there's no cuts or exposed wires. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and make sure the recovery tank is empty. Now while you're looking at the recovery tank, it's also a good idea to make sure that the cap on the recovery drain hose is also closed to make sure we have proper vacuum performance. Next, go ahead and place your wet floor signs, lower the squeegee, Turn on the main switch, and away you go. Now when it comes to maintaining your Windsor Cartridge Group Recovery 18, well, it couldn't be any easier. First thing you want to do is go ahead and drain and rinse the recovery tank. Now it's also a good idea to leave the recovery drain hose cap off. It's also a good idea to keep the lid cracked, that way the unit can completely dry. Next, go ahead and remove, clean, and inspect the wand or squeegee. Let's go ahead and check the cord too. Make sure there's no cuts or exposed wires or the ground prongs missing. If you notice any of those, please contact your supervisor immediately to go ahead and get the cord replaced. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and wipe down the unit. That way the machine looks as good as it performs. 